Hello, MCU fans. Today, we're going to see what we can learn from the images of the Thunderbolts footage that was originally shown at SDCC, but now some of the images are showing up online, and it gives us a pretty good idea of what happened in the trailer. Lots of cool stuff to discuss, so let's dive right in and see what we can find out. Don't forget, we have an August contest running all month long. Be a subscriber, leave a comment. You could win a book or a steelbook. Best of luck. And we have a membership option with lots of cool perks, so you might check it out in case you're interested. So the trailer starts with Yelena coming to visit Red Guardian. She knocks on the door a couple times, and he mistakes her for DoorDash, saying that if you don't leave it there and go away, I'm going to report you. So finally she says, hey, it's me. And he realizes, oh, shoot, <laughs> it's Yelena. And his apartment is a total mess, and he's in his underwear. <laughs> so the dude runs into the kitchen to throw a bunch of crap on the counter. He throws on a robe and then legit grabs the dishwashing soap to wash out his mouth to quickly brush his teeth, I guess, with the dishwash soap. Uh, that's one way to do it, right? So then finally, he lets her in. And so sweet, she says, hi, Dad. It's really cool that after all this time, she still looks to him as a father figure. I love it. So he clears some space off this chair so she can actually sit down. Um, and he apologizes for being on a highly classified call. Obviously, he was just watching TV. But he tries to make it sound like he's doing really important stuff. He's super busy. Um, then she asks him an interesting question. Do you feel fulfilled? And he says, oh yeah, so full, so filled. So obviously just not answering accurately. Clearly he's bored stiff. Um, so then he asks her, what brings you here? And you can see by the sober look on her face that uh, she's, she's going through a crisis. So then we see the Marvel logo and it's interesting. It actually rises up as though it's on an elevator door and sure enough, then we see uh, Yelena standing there. And she explains, there's something wrong with me. She says, I feel an emptiness. I'm just drifting, and I don't have a purpose. So we kind of see that she's not the only one, because they start to show scenes of some of the other characters that will be in Thunderbolts. We see Bucky walking across the room, looking really dapper there. Uh, not really sure what the context of this is, uh, but, but very important, because a lot of reporters are all over. And then we also see John Walker, very different situation for him. He's sitting at home, his baby's wanting attention, and what's he doing? He's scrolling through stories about, you know, all the negative stuff about him online. Fall of a Hero, the John Walker tale. So yeah, pretty depressing. Uh, his life is not going as planned. So uh, uh, Yelena explains, I thought throwing myself into my work was the answer. And speaking of her work, she cleans up this hallway, wipes out all these dudes. Here she's flipping these two dudes over. Uh, doing another nice move on that guy. And then on the off chance they're still alive, she takes care of that one and takes care of that one. So yeah, she is not messing around. So then we see her entering a secret base. And boy, that set looks really, really cool. Uh, so the door opens and she's ready for action. However, there's no one there. It's completely empty. She's trying to figure out what is going on. She's walking past these very strange, I mean, are they I don't know, lamps or whatever, but with plastic over them, some, something odd is going on here. Uh, she's as confused as we are, right? And then she sees a laptop and some paperwork there. We don't get to see what it is, by the way. I know it's blurry anyway, but they don't really focus on it. But just as she's about to look at it, in comes U.S. agent, who's been there, uh, maybe hiding around the corner. We're not sure. The, con the trailer didn't really tell us how he got in there. But he starts firing at her, and she grabs something to protect herself, uh, but he keeps firing away. So then she makes a lunge at him and pulls out a knife and is trying to attack, take him down. But of course, now he's got super soldier strength, so it's really not too fair of a fight. But suddenly he gets blown across the room because watch him go boom, flying across the room. So why does that happen? That's because Taskmaster is also there. This is getting crazy. So Taskmaster would obviously be trying to help Yelena. You can see Yelena down there in the lower left corner because of their friendship uh, that they forged in the Black Widow movie. But so speaking of the Black Widow movie, Taskmaster has definitely changed uh, her outfit, but looks really cool. Uh, I never felt like she got to do enough in the Black Widow movie. Uh, she did some cool stuff, but not enough. So I hope we get to see some really cool moves uh, throughout the Thunderbolts movie. But so yeah, Yelena is very surprised to see yet another person here. Uh, meanwhile, U.S. Agent has gotten back up, but then notice over his lower left corner there, watch, you'll see someone, in fact, Ghost, appearing. So now that's four of them are all there. And uh, just like uh, Taskmaster, her outfit has changed somewhat, although you can still see the white lights 
uh, that we saw uh, in her original costume. Oh, they were red in the original costume. But uh, yeah, pr pretty cool outfit. So now U.S. agent goes after Ghost, and you can see he charges at her, swings his shield, she phases, and then comes back again after his shield misses. So that's pretty cool. We're going to see a lot of cool combat, I suspect. And so Yelena has now hidden behind this box for cover, and she chucks a knife at Ghost. A little hard to see, but Ghost is phasing out, and you can see the knife flying through her. And then she unfazes, grabs the knife, and then she chucks the knife over at U.S. Agent. U.S. Agent grabs it midair, and now he charges over for Yelena. Uh, he moves the box out of the way that she was using as cover and goes down to try to stab her. So, yeah. It is looking like we're going to see some crazy combat between all of these guys. Now, it's similar to Civil War, the airport scene, in that it's just carnage everywhere. But what I really like about this is they're all trying to kill each other. In Civil War, they were pulling their punches. These four are clearly trying to kill each other. Very, very wild. But then something stops the battle because uh, the trailer cuts to them all standing up, and they look over, and there's just a dude in his PJs standing there with his hands held up. So now uh, Ghost, with her mask off, says, who, who are you? And he says, I'm Bob. So Bob is heavily rumored to be Bob Reynolds in the comics, who is Sentry. So Sentry, at least in the comics, was experimented upon heavily, uh, supposedly some su super soldier serum, but lots more, obviously. And it ended up creating one of the most powerful people on the planet, uh, more powerful probably than even Superman. But also, he has memory issues and doesn't even remember all the time who he is. Uh, kind of two different personalities, an evil one and, and a kind one. So at this point, clearly, uh, he doesn't appear to remember having all those powers uh, or even who he is. So it'll be interesting to see how much they adapt from the comics, uh, since, you know, Feige typically changes things up a little bit. But it definitely looks like he has no idea who he is now. Uh, well, he knows he's Bob, but I mean, doesn't know that he has the powers of the Sentry. So uh, uh, Yelena's like, uh, who sent you, Bob? And he's like, nobody. You were all sent? So yeah, interesting. They were all sent. So that is a big revelation, big revelation. And right as uh, Yelena is trying to process that, notice the windows all slam shut. You can see that, that window closing, uh, another one back here, and another one here as U.S. agent turns his head. So not looking good. So Yelena starts to put things together. She says, everyone here has done bad things. And we see a uh, U.S. agent, as she says, shadow ops. And then she says, robbing government labs, which in this case, it's her uh, robbing the lab. And she decks this uh, scientist to steal something. Uh, and contract kills. So uh, uh, Yelena is trying to put all this together. Uh, now, <laughs> similar to me at first, is U.S. agent going, yes, so? I, I don't get it. Yelena is realizing someone wants them all gone. But more than just gone, it may well be tied to those missions she just talked about, to the mission we saw U.S. agent on, and that she was on stealing information and, and drugs from this laboratory, uh, and, and the contract kill. Maybe this was Val sending them on separate missions, but all to get the materials she needed to experiment upon and create Sentry. So that would be wild if these different missions are the reason that Sentry exists. And then now Val is trying to clean things up because maybe Sentry failed, it didn't work, uh, he's out of control, you know, who knows. But, but yeah, that is very interesting that maybe they are actually responsible for creating Bob. So now, right on cue, uh, Yelena is apparently correct that someone wants them gone because the room turns red. We see a counter start from one minute, 59 seconds, and going down, and everybody looking very surprised at this turn of events. So wild. So keep that in mind. None of them had an idea that the others would be there. They were not, I thought they'd all be a team right off the bat. No, no, they were all sent to take out Sentry, I guess, and to take out each other. Wow, crazy. So, how about this Val, who seemingly set all this up? So it seems that Val is living large. So we see this really ritzy party here, and then it's kind of hard to tell, but I think in the glass case there in the middle of the frame, lower middle, I think that's Loki's scepter. That would be wild. So that would mean it would be some type of a government uh, facility, because they wouldn't have had Loki's scepter unless it's the government. Of course, Val is working for the government. Uh, so here she is just laughing it up, having her drinks while all that carnage was happening. And then she's narrating and says, we're brought up to believe there are good guys. And as she's saying that, we see Bucky, who is obviously at the party, 
Um, so uh, keeping an eye on Val, though, it seems, right? But then she says, and there are bad guys. So, okay, that might be Sentry. You know, at least that's the way the narration makes us think. You can see all these people are flashing lights on him, and he's in those same PJs. But notice, he's got a bunch of bullet holes in him. So if there was any doubt that Bob is not normal, uh, this, this took care of that, that for us. We, he, I mean, he got lit up, and we don't even see a single bullet hole on him. In fact, here they are uh, shooting machine guns at him, and we see the bullets on the ground, and nothing happened. So, okay, that's not good. Uh, so now we see several scenes in what many believe to be a familiar building. <laughs> we'll see what you think, um, but it seems like maybe a familiar building. And we see the team talking to Val. So Bucky is saying, so what's the plan? And you can see U.S. agent there to the left. And then we also see a shot of Bucky cleaning his arm in the dishwasher. That's funny. That's really funny. I guess that's one way to do it, right? Of course, I want to know how we got that arm back from Rocket uh, when, when Nebula gave it to him in the Guardians holiday special. They better explain that. Um, but then also we have Yelena saying this could get messy. And I think this is that same laboratory we saw earlier where she stole the stuff for Val. Um, and in fact, uh, we see an explosion in a building. Maybe she set that off. We'll have to see. Uh, but then Red Guardian is saying enough talking. And again, look outside the window. Um, at, at wherever they're at, seems like it's a pretty, pretty tall tower, obviously. Uh, and in, instead of talking, we see Red Guardian shredding something. Honestly, it's really hard to tell what. You can see white in both of his hands, but he ripped something in half. And then we see Yelena uh, taking a dive off a really tall building. That's a move she's pretty famous for, but what on earth? I want to know the context of this. Uh, then take a guess who's driving the truck here, right? Because it's a big truck, and it's ramming through these cars. So who else would it be other than... If you guessed Red Guardian, you got it, <laughs> as he's screaming uh, and, and causing carnage. And then, I'm not sure what this is. They show a shot of a symbol on the ground, which they then pick up. Is this maybe Sentry's symbol? I, I don't recognize it if it is. Let me know your thoughts. If you, if you recognize this, uh, tell me in the comments. Uh, then Val makes a big entrance, walking down the steps, once again, in this building, wherever this is. Uh, and then she says, you eventually come to realize, and we see Ghost, uh, in action there, that there are bad guys, and we see U.S. agent slamming this dude against the wall, and there are worse guys. So she moved from saying there are good guys and bad guys to there are bad guys and worse guys. And she says it right when the Thunderbolts exit the elevator of this big tower uh, to, to confront Val, seemingly. And then as they're all walking towards her, uh, she says, look at you, so adorable. So, yeah. They do not look happy. In fact, yeah, that is not the face of somebody <laughs> that is happy. Going to be very interesting to see what they have to say to Val after seemingly Val set them all up to be killed. But so to this building, so what do you think, right? Is this a building we've seen before? The, the theories from this footage is that this is Avengers Tower, what used to be Avengers Tower, and was sold way, way, way long time ago, way back in Homecoming. Um, let me know your thoughts on that. I mean, Feige has teased we will very soon know who bought Avengers Tower, so my guess is it's Val, and that's what we're seeing here. So very, very interesting. A lot. Can't wait to hear the backstory on how she got a hold of this. All right, so then we get to the final scene of the trailer, uh, some bonding time as they're driving in a truck on the road. No, this is not the void. <laughs> After Deadpool and Wolverine, everything looks like the Void. But no, this is not the Void. Uh, but we have Red Guardian uh, shouting out uh, that this is the making of a team that can rise to glory. And everybody in the van is like, oh my gosh, dude, seriously? Look at U.S. agent. And Ghost is like, man, just stop. Uh, then he says, that can be the heroes on the Wheaties box. On the Wheaties box. Yeah, I love it. Everything about him is, I want glory, remember? Because he, he's so mad that Captain America is more popular. So he is going to be hysterical throughout this whole film. Uh, and then, you know, here's, here's Yelena, just so embarrassed. Like, please stop. Please stop talking. And then he even says, with the little kitty toy. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. I, I don't know who wants to be the little kitty toy. But clearly he does. Clearly he does. So finally she says, I find it best just to ignore him as the trailer winds to a close. So yeah, looks looks really good. I, I'm pretty excited about this. And it's kind of cool. Ominous words are, are put, put throughout the trailer. Be careful who you assemble. So interesting. Is that a warning to Val? <laughs> Val, you might not have wanted to assemble this team. Or is it a warning to the rest of us? We'll have to see. 
Uh, but one way or another, it does look like this movie, Thunderbolts Asterix, is going to be good. So we still do not know what the Asterix is. I believe Kevin Feige made a joke that it represents the six bullets of the six uh, Thunderbolts team members, but I'm pretty sure it means more than that. Maybe it's the Dark Avengers being implied. Uh, maybe it's something else. Let me know if you have any theories on that, but for now, it is still a mystery. But also let me know what you think about this trailer. I think it looks great. Uh, I'm very excited for the movie now and can't wait to get the actual trailer, uh, hopefully uh, soon. So don't forget, August contest, be a subscriber, leave a comment, win a book or a steelbook. And of course, there's the membership option if you're interested in that. And I always like to mention the Discord. Here we are talking about the trailer and about John Walker <laughs> looking so depressed and ignoring his baby, uh, as Missile points out. So 1,600 members on the Discord, conversations 24-7 around the globe. We would love for you to be part of it. So I will leave a pinned comment with an invite to the Discord. Also, if you don't mind, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out more content, and we'll all continue to enjoy the ever-growing, the ever-changing, Marvel Cinematic Universe.